Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. It is uh, June 9, June 12th, sorry, June 19th is next week. June 12th, this is the week after the uh, midterm test. I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, first, I want to show you, this is, okay, whoops. This is, come on, a chart of the results from last year's class. This was 1C's midterm test results from last year. And you can see they didn't do very well. Um, the highest number of students last year mostly were sitting around 60%, 65%. Three people only did around 70% to 75%, and two people were below 50%. But they didn't do very well. You also, uh, unfortunately, didn't do that well, but you were better than last year. So last year, you were better. You were, sorry, you were better than last year. So a lot of people were sitting around 70%, 75%. Um, still a few people that didn't do very well at 40%, 45%. Uh, but you were better than last year. Now, you might look at this and think, oh, no, I, I got only a C. 70%, 75%, I got only a C. But that's why I wanted to show you last year's results. So they didn't do as well as you did, but at the end of the class, at the final grade, I was giving out mostly Bs, As, a few Cs. So the midterm test actually was not really hurting their grades, and probably for you too this result for your um, midterm test is probably not going to hurt you. And I plan it that way. That's why there's so many quizzes. There's listening quizzes. There's um, uh, uh, listening, reading quizzes for you guys, listening and reading quizzes. We also, uh, at the end of the semester, okay, so where are we here? Uh, yeah, right here, okay. At the end of the semester on July 17th, you have a group conversation test. After the group conversation test, we have another Moodle test. So there are many places for you to actually pick up extra points. If you did not do well in the midterm test, don't worry. In the past year, last year, a lot of students did not do well in the midterm test, but still they got in the end, 95%, 90% in, um, in the final grade you have many more chances to pick up a lot of a lot of points. Now, for the rest of this class, let's get back here to the 12th, okay? We're going to do a little bit of shadow talking, okay? So um, in your Moodle, uh, either on your computer or on your cell phone, uh, you'll be accessing this article. Uh, this one is about sex discrimination. Okay, we'll be reading that and then we'll be doing a little bit of shadow talking. And then your assignments for this week are about topic sentences. Okay, so your reflection will be to watch this video, figure out what she's trying to say about writing a topic sentence, and then you yourself write two paragraphs, okay, on the main theme. And the question, what did you learn from the video about topic sentences? So this is about topic sentences. Now the quiz this week is also about topic sentences. And it's a quick quiz, it's, it's, it's not very difficult at all, but I suggest you do the reflection first and then do the, um, the topic sentences quiz. If you spend a lot of time in between both, maybe watch the video before you do the quiz again so that then it will remind you about what's important with topic sentences. So both of your assignments for this week are about topic sentences. I suggest you do this one first and then the quiz after that. Like all of my quizzes, you have three chances, uh, 15 minutes to actually answer the questions. And trust me, it's not gonna be very difficult for you at all, but still do this one first, then do the assignment up there. Okay. So what I want you to do is go to the Moodle, either on your phone or on your computer, and then right here, okay, 
for the shadowing materials, go to this article, okay? And I want you to take a few minutes, try to read all the way to the end, okay, of this material. Oh, sorry, very important thing. This is what I have to explain about the rest of the course. Um, so from here, okay, from June 12th all the way to July 31st, we finished working in Japan. Working in Japan is finished as a textbook. We're only going to be doing unit four. So the university wanted me to bring in extra material. So the midterm test will be very similar to the final test. Questions will be similar. The materials will be similar, but all of the material will be based on, uh, let's see here, all of this shadowing, okay? All of the shadowing material that we do here, we'll be getting new material every week to play particular, uh, pay particular attention to the shadowing material. Sometimes because of time, I can't really go over all of the shadowing material, but all of these articles, okay? So for example, this one is about a conversation I had with a student about plastic bags. All of that shadowing material, make sure that you at least read it and Okay, there's a Quizlet set for all of these, for the vocabulary. That vocabulary will also be on the final test. So sometimes we'll do the Quizlet in class. If we don't do the Quizlet in class, you should still study it at home. If we do the Quizlet, sometimes that means we don't do the shadowing. So you should do the shadowing. You should look at the reading at home. All of the things that are on the Moodle, you should take a look at because it will be on the final test. Okay. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you can ask me about it uh, a little bit later in the class. Uh, you can talk to me in Japanese as well then too. So please make sure that you understand everything that you need to understand. And of course, you can always email me at jdmcruise at gmail.com. And uh, let's have a good class today, everyone.